What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I want to talk about Drea Michelle again. Uh, there was an update to her court battle with her ex, Tyrod Taylor. Apparently, she has suffered a big defeat in court because she is trying to say that she should be allowed to live in a home that, according to her, she paid Tyrod Taylor um, to live in. Because while they were together, they came up with this agreement. It was a verbal agreement, nothing written down. This is how um, unintelligent, uh, <laughs> this is how unintelligent Drea can be in situations. Because she has said some things that are really, you know, it's crazy. But her actions, she really thought that a verbal agreement was going to be enforceable in court. Tyrod knew this. And he played along with it because at the time they were in a relationship. But last year, some weird things happened because one minute she's on vacation with Tyrod. Next minute, she's walking around with NBA player Jalen Green. I'm pretty sure that we've all seen uh, the infamous uh, the infamous photos of her walking around with this guy. So random. Because people believe that she was still in a relationship with Tyrod Taylor. I did. But apparently she had been, you know, seeing Jalen and she's still seeing him even after she didn't had the baby because she got pregnant. And apparently they are in a sort of relationship. I think that she thought that she could just break up with Tyrod and she'd still be able to get that house. But the court said has said no up until this point she's not going to win this tyrod taylor played her he did but you embarrassed tyrod taylor you went from being in a relationship with him to you walking around with this 22 year old basketball player not only that you get pregnant by him and have his child you think that Tyrod forgot about that? How that made him look? You're a 39 year old woman. Now, let me say this about Drea. Drea is an industry veteran. When there is, when the, do you see the term groupie? Drea Michelle's face comes up because there is no one who has been more, who, who has been, who, who is, who is the face of groupieism than her. I mean, look at the stuff that's coming out about her and Diddy and some of the, the photos and videos, things of her partying over there, you know, um, <laughs> and, and some of the stuff we've heard that she did right with Diddy. She was in those circles, just a, just the, the face of groupieism. People say it's Amber Rose. No, no, I, I, I say as as because Dre has been doing it longer, I believe, than Amber Rose has. Uh, because Amber Rose went from relationship to relationship in the music industry for the most part. Drea just gets with anybody that's famous. And you see it now with her and Jalen Green. Now all of a sudden they're a couple or whatever. They're co-parenting. But I truly feel like she did not do her due diligence. And that's on her. And that's why she's losing in court and she won't be able to get that house. She embarrassed Tyrod. So there's no way Tyrod, because Tyrod could let her get the house, but he's not going to because you you probably lied to him. You probably tried to manipulate him and you thought you were smarter than him. You just break up with him and get with Jalen Green and be able to keep the house. That's not how this is going to work. This according to this uh, Newsbreak article, Dre Michelle suffers a massive setback in her court battle with her ex-boyfriend, New York Jets star Tyrod Taylor, who she claims attempted to evict her from a $3 million LA home in touch can exclusively report. According to court documents obtained by in touch, a hearing was held in Drea's lawsuit against Tyrod in, on October 5th. The judge ordered four of the six claims Drea brought against Tyrod to be dismissed. The court found that Dredd did not have an enforceable contract with Tyrod. The judge said evidence showed the exes 
had talks about Drea buying the home in question, but there was no real agreement in place. As in touch first reported in June, Drea filed a lawsuit which asked the judge to enforce Tyrod to force Tyrod to follow through on selling her a home he owns and not be allowed to evict her from the property. You know, he could do that, but this is my opinion. This is my opinion. I believe Drea cheated on Tyrod or was, was a uh, got with, um, got with Jalen green while her and Tyrod might have been on the rocks or close to a separation, he she tells him she's not seeing nobody. She's willing to work on a relationship, right? But then she's walking around with Jalen Green. Next thing you know, she's pregnant. If Tyrod Taylor wanted her to have that home, she would have it. But he doesn't want her to have the home. But I, I do. I think that because either he wasn't going, unless he wasn't going to sell her the house anyway, or he did not like how the relationship ended, whether there was cheating involved. I'm, that's my opinion. I'm not saying it happened, but why is he refusing to sell her the home? If she claims she has the money. Now it could be a situation where she's pretending to have the, the money to sell. And he doesn't believe she has them. Cause I, they could have been trying. They've been probably been going back and forth for this for months. Either he's still upset or he don't believe she has the money to buy the home that she's just playing games with him. And maybe he's been trying to get money from her, get the money from her for months and she's been stalling right now. If it's a situation where Drea is stalling, then yeah, you have every right to kick her out because she's playing games and trying to be manipulative. She doesn't have the money to sell that home to him to, to sell that home to her sell his home to her because that could be what it is because because uh, why would he not want to sell her the home if she has the money either it's because he's bitter about the, the way the relationship ended or he doesn't feel like she has the money those have got those has to be the only two reasons drea claims she lives in a home in question with her children she said yeah you, you probably have Jalen green over there all the time too she said Tyrod bought the home for her in August of 2022 when they were dating. Drea said they agreed she could purchase the home from him when she was ready. She said she agreed to buy the home from Tyrod in late 2023 for 3.2 million, but claimed Tyrod was now trying to evict her. Cause you don't have that money. Drea, where you gonna get that money from? Is that why you sleeping with Jalen Green? Cause you want Jalen Green to give you the money. I believe Drea doesn't have the money. And the only reason why she's suing Tyrod is because he's telling, he's trying to evict her so he can sell the home. If she had the money, why wouldn't he sell her the home? Because she don't got the money. Where's she going to get $3 million from? I've said this in other commentary. I don't think she has the money to buy the home. And I think that Tyrod is not going to sit there while she's dating this young NBA player to, to live in that home, not paying a mortgage, not paying any rental, you know, any type of rental money to him. He wants her out of there. And I have absolutely no problem with him telling her to kick rocks. If she wants the home, go live with Jalen Green. Go live with your baby's father. Because, again, there's only two reasons why, why Tyrod Taylor wouldn't sell her that home. And I believe she's only suing her, suing him, because she doesn't want to get evicted. She don't got no three million. Where's she going to get three million dollars from? Where's she going to go to all the men she done slept with in the industry and ask for some money? She did she not expect Tyrod to evict her? He don't care about your situation with your kids. Listen, I don't think no kids should be evicted, you know, on you know, because of what their mother did. But you chose to live there, Drea. Instead of you owning your own home, because all you heifers claim you got money, you're successful. You living in a house that he paid for. So therefore, it's his rules. It's his property. 
And if he tells you, you got to go, you got to go. You can't sit up there and tell that man what he can do with his property. You, you're, you're basically, what do they call it? When you're living in a property squatting, she's basically squatting. She's not paying anything. She probably not even paying utilities. She's basically living in that mansion rent free. Tyrod is only evicting her because she doesn't have the money. She's got to understand. He probably paying property tax on that house. Probably pay HOA if they have one. And she's not paying anything. And she's saying she wants to probably pay an installment. She's probably, she want to pay him like a thousand dollars a month or something. <laughs> she ain't got the money to pay him. And he wants her out of there. He, you listen, you want to go date Jalen Green? You want to go date Jalen Green? Go date Jalen Green. You're not about to squat in a property that I own. So I have absolutely no problem with him trying to evict her. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.